Hello, friends. Welcome to something really, 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 really different. So, uh, this is um, Zombie Treasure. Uh, <laughs> so, I, as I've been hinting, I, I've started doing some Unity 5 stuff, and um, I found a really cool uh, tutorial series by a guy named, or a channel named uh, Gamer to Game Developer. And uh, he threw out a challenge as part of his first chapter of his uh, tutorial series to put together a game with certain certain functionality. And um, I did go farther than that. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to get this. This going to be a new little playlist of Rongo builds. Um, or Rongo develops, maybe I'll call it. And... It is going to be just a set of play tests, functionality tests, as I learn my way around Unity. Um, I am not, not a uh, animation or uh, graphics guy. Uh, the development side, I, I, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, some of the other stuff, uh, yeah. So anyway, here it is. A very simple, simple, simple little game. My first official live, fully built little game. Zombie Treasure. Developed by Bronco the Bold! Oh yeah. So, uh, the objective is to find chests in this little terrain area that I've set up. And uh, there are zombies that spawn. Yeah, it's very rough. Believe me. Believe me. Oh, look! A chest! Oh, no! Away from me, zombie! And for some reason, and I, this is something i got to experiment with, uh, the explosion effect is really minimal in the actual build, but in the... Um, editor it's like a really big explosion so learning learning all right so let's look around here and see if we can spot the other ones so the big things are it's a, uh, dynamic spawning and some really strange uh, after they're dead effects which, I don't know why that happens yet, but he, th he thought he thought 70s die had some strange uh, zombie ragdoll. Yeah, I, I, I gotta work on that still. Uh, but yeah, I, little destructible little things, and uh, my sound clips off, I don't know why yet, but I'm just grabbing a bunch of, just really, you know, the free assets and stuff like that, so that I can get used to tying things together. Um, and sometimes, oops, in there? sometimes they don't work out so well. So, oh, there's another chest. Gotta get them all. So there was, uh, you know, it's random. There's random sound effects happening. Um, there's random behavior happening. The spawn happens at random times. Uh, at random locations, so there are some mechanics that I'm learning here. So it should be one more. They don't hurt you. They don't hurt you yet. All right, one chest left. One chest left. And I am going to uh, put this uh, on my you know, website, so wrongwithbold.com. Um, I'm going to put all of my games that I developed there um, as I learn and learn and learn. This is grenade, but where is the other chest? <laughs> is it bad that, you know, I made it and I don't know what to do? Yeah, I got it. There's something else about that that's a little off. Alright, gotta find it, gotta find it! Ah, there we go. 
uh, you know, mad mesh agents can find themselves like, uh, find a way around the terrain. Get this guy. And then game over! Yay! Game over! Yay! So you can run around if you want to and just, you know, shoot things, I guess, if you wanted to. For some bizarre reason. Wait, where's the other, uh... It's a very small, it's only 200 meters by 200 meters. But I can get lost in it. How is that possible? Yeah, it's just strange how that sound effect happens. But I will learn. I will definitely learn. Anyway, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. And uh, let me know what you think. Bye.